Welcome back to another edition of the Oracle Developer Newsletter, where we bring news for developers to life. I'm joined once again by the very popular Manish Kapoor, who's director for OCI Product Management. And we're going to talk about some exciting things, starting with OCI certifications. Manish, I know that you must hold quite a few certifications. All I can boast is just one OCI foundations. But tell me, first of all, what's this news? And second of all, what's it like getting multiple certifications, if in fact you can address that? Thanks, Alexa. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so this is a very good program. We actually did this last year and we were very successful with that. We had a 45 day window where we were giving away free exams and free certification exams. It was so popular that we had to extend it by another 45 days. So this year, again, we are offering free trainings and certifications for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And those started just in September. And this time around, we have kept it for four months. So this goes all the way till December 31st. And think about it, free education, right? I'm very, I'm, I'm actually very strong believer in free education. So and this program uh, provides you with an excellent opportunity to uh, build your skills and learn new technologies. From uh, recent Gartner research that I read, it was found that, you know, there's a sh shortage of talent and sh a shortage of talent is leading to a barrier for adoption of technologies. So at Oracle, I think this will help bridge the skills gap. It will give uh, people an opportunity to uh, learn new technologies and you know, expand their uh, IT skills. Uh, so thanks to Oracle University and Rohit Rahi and his uh, many others in Oracle who created this program. Uh, so we are uh, you know, hoping again that we'll have lots and lots of people around the world. It's open to anybody, partners, engineers, uh, students, anybody can take it. And we are hoping this time again, we see lots and lots of people around the world take this free advantage of these free certifications and exams. You must hold at least, you, you must hold the OCI certification, right? Yes, I do have OCI certifications. I have the developer certification and the you know, core certification, infrastructure certification, the foundation certification, and some Linux certifications from the past. And uh, didn't you so show me years ago, or you had a, you had a Java certification way back one of the early Java certifications, if I recall correctly. Yes, yes. I actually did uh, one of the Java certifications back in the early days at Sun Microsystems. Right. Yes. For me, certifications are a good way to uh, forcefully learn new skills, right? It gives you the opportunity to learn something new and, uh, and then, you know, apply it towards your uh, job in terms of whatever you're doing. Uh, so, yeah, I, and if it is free and you can do it from your home, and you can take the exams anytime without having to leave your home office. I'll say that I experienced doing this. I had a lot of a great experience doing it as a team. And I made a video about how I passed the OCI certification and some tips that I have as well. So I'll share that video as well. Um, and it was kind of popular and a lot of people said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm glad that, that you illustrated what to do. Of course, there's tons and tons of content on that. But of course, or Oracle uh, Cloud certifications are relatively new. So this is exciting times for us. So with that, I want to move on to our next topic. And I'm really excited that right before recording this, you said that after this newsletter mailed, you already got responses back for your request for test drivers. So what are we trying to test drive? Yes. Uh, so uh, OCI DevOps service is a CI CD service uh, that we uh, announced a couple of months back. The first feature that we uh, made available two months back was the deployment pipelines where you could deploy applications into OCI services like serverless functions and uh, you know uh, Kubernetes uh, engine, things like that. And now we are adding more capabilities to the service. We are adding the source code management uh, functionality as well as the build pipelines uh, functionality to the service. So uh, we are looking for uh, test drivers, if I may say that, uh, to, you know, come and try out this new features that we are adding to the service. Uh, so we're looking forward to welcoming customers, developers around the world to give it a spin and give us feedback and tell us what you would like about the service, what you would like to see uh, being added into the service. It's your opportunity to give us feedback while we develop the service and bring it to the market. Yeah. Uh, so if you, if you are interested in doing that, uh, we have an email alias. It's as simple as sending us an email and we'll get you set up with the new OCI DevOps service features that are coming out soon. 
Yeah, that's great. And so we'll link that in the description below the alias to send uh, Manish an email. And you can also send him fan mail for appearing in two developer newsletter videos. <laughs> All right, well now moving on to our last topic, we're appearing at a couple of conferences outside Oracle conferences. Can you tell us where we're appearing and why? Yes, you know, uh, I don't know if you've noticed, it is a season of uh, events and conferences. Uh, just before the holiday season begins, I think uh, typically we have lots of uh, events and conferences in our industry that happen uh, right before the holidays. So Oracle is participating in three upcoming, upcoming industry events. Uh, the first one coming up in end of sep September is actually 27th September is the Open Source Summit at Seattle. Hmm. Uh, so Oracle will be participating in that. If you are in Seattle area, uh, come uh, visit us. Uh, Wim Kokerts, our Senior Vice President uh, for Oracle Linux and Virtualization Products and uh, very, very passionate about open source communities is going to be a keynote speaker there. Uh, the next event that we'll be participating on, and this this is my favorite event. I look forward to it. I've been to KubeCon and Cloud Native, Cube, uh, Cloud Native uh, conference for the last three years. Yeah. And I'm again looking forward to uh, being there in person at LA. Uh, this conference is in LA this time from 11th to 15th of October. Nice. And Oracle will be there. Uh, we will be there both. Uh, it's a hybrid conference this year. So you can participate uh, virtually, or you can uh, come and meet us in person in the LA uh, conference center where this is happening. Uh, so I'll be there. I look forward to meeting as many of you who are there. And we'll be talking about some cool things and I will not break out uh, here with you here. Don't want to break the thunder here, but we'll be, we'll be showing some cool demos and some of the investments that we have made in the cloud native space uh, at this conference. Yeah, it's, it is so impressive to see how quickly uh, the OCI team has has added uh, so many new features and really started to make waves. So that's that's great. Okay, so what's the last conference? Yeah, the last conference is ARM Developer Summit. Mm. It's called the ARM Dev Summit. It's happening on October 19th. Uh, it's a virtual conference. And we are both sponsoring and participating in this virtual conference. It's a three-day conference. We have uh, several sessions uh, which we are uh, going to do there in this uh, you know, uh, developer conference. This is the first time we'll be participating at ARM Developer Summit. And we'll be uh, you know, talking about the success of our ARM-based even compute platform and yeah. uh, you know, running some uh, workshops for uh, developers to come try out ARM on uh, OCI. So looking forward to all these three conferences and uh, hope uh, you can join us there and come uh, say hi to us, uh, meet the Oracle folks. We'll answer any questions that you have. That's wonderful. Yeah, well, it's great to be getting back to a little bit of normal with that. So, um, and I'm sure many conferences await us in the future and we'll, we'll enjoy them more than we ever have in the past. All right, great. Well, with that, Manish, thank you so much for joining me and thank you for joining us for another edition of the Oracle Developer Newsletter live. And feel free to sign up for the newsletter in the links below or join us, join us at a conference or take a test drive of our new DevOps services. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye. Thank you.